Assalamu alaikum guys Welcome to another episode of This Week in the Dunya Alright guys let's start off first with the US spelling bee Now this spelling bee was very unusual In the sense that they ran out of words at the end And there were still 8 people So they gave all 8 people first place The fact that this is happening in the US is no surprise mate Spell red Red L S T E R. All right, is that your okay. final answer? <laughs> My final answer. I mean, after burger, obesity, Trump, I'm running out of words. You know what I mean? So I don't blame these spelling bee people. It's America. But it was actually more than 11 million students that were competing. Are you sure this is the spelling bee of the United States? It looks like the spelling bee of Bombay mate. Hang on a minute, whoa whoa whoa, let's, let's zoom in a bit. Yeah yeah yeah, there, there we go, yep. Nah, my bad, my bad. Alright guys, let's move on to the next bit of news. An 11 year old Iranian girl scores the highest you can score in the Mensa IQ test. Yo. 160 is the supposed score of Einstein and Hawking she scored a whopping 162. Now I know what you guys are thinking we've we've not heard this and you're not gonna hear this because she's Iranian mate. Are you Iranian? And the media is too busy bashing Iran yeah because you know you gotta get ready for war and that you can't be showing 11 year olds that are more intelligent than Einstein it just makes the country look too human are you Iranian? 140 is the benchmark to be classified as a genius let's have a look at a few whoa 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 is that Snoop Dogg? It's the one and only Dogg what's Snoop Dogg doing on there? Oh my god, apparently Snoop Dogg is a genius. Alright let's move on to the next bit of news. Feeding the homeless. Now this doesn't sound out of the ordinary but when in the UK we have 19 hour fasts you got a hot weather and the fact that it's Birmingham to be around food for the last couple of hours and then give it away to other people just makes it all that bit more respectful. Bang on a minute, is that a chocolate fountain? Smashed it! Considering it's Birmingham, what else is brown and cheaper and homemade? I don't know guys, I'm just saying. It could be chocolate, it could be poo. You know what guys, it is amazing. You got pizza, you got chips. <gasps> whoa 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 whoa. You serving pizza and chips with no ketchup? Monsters, you barbarians. I knew something wasn't right mate, yeah? We need Boris Johnson for people like you mate. Alright guys let's move on to the next bit of news. We all know France has already banned the full face veil and of course they banned the hijab in schools as well. Now what they've done is they have banned the hijab on parents that are accompanying their kids on a trip. I mean flipping heck mate, that's awfully specific isn't it? Hijab's already banned mate but that's not enough for the snail eaters. Yeah they gotta impose more restrictions on Muslim women. I don't think this is secularism. I, I don't know about you, maybe there's a translation difference. Someone needs to you know explain to these snail eaters that that's not how you push secularism. I mean what's next? Uh, Bridget, uh, hijab is banned for you if you are standing in front of the school with your child. No no no! If you are walking past the school with your child. Oh that hijab, then hijab is banned for you. No 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 no, if you are thinking about walking past the school, hijab is banned for you. No no I can do better, I can do better. If you are thinking about the school, then hijab is banned for you. <laughs> I think I win huh? <laughs> yeah, you about the snails, uh, I need some. Alright guys, we know racism is gone out of control. But after hearing this story it's difficult for your heart not to sink. Yeah, Children 
children, kids are whitening their skin just to avoid being bullied and picked on. On top of that there's another headline to do with racism to babies. Now I'd be shocked about this headline but considering a couple of months ago we had to express our outrage at a baby being called a jihadi. I mean psh, standards are very low here in Britain. France of course leading with the low standards but uh, we're not that far behind. What do you expect from the Brexit mob? Because think about it, as soon as we get Brexit there's still angry racist xenophobic people and they're gonna direct the anger towards another group or something or someone else because hate doesn't subside it just needs another group of people. Alright guys next bit of news Urdu girl yeah the Muslim Game of Thrones came to an end this Wednesday. People were naturally very upset and honestly don't know what to do with their lives because it's the generation that we're living in now that you invest more in TV shows than you do with real relationships and your own family. But they announced as they do with any successful series is a franchise coming out yeah they're not gonna stop they're gonna release another one called Resurrection Uthman. Now this is gonna be based upon the kid of Urdugrul. As you guys know Britain's not really known for coming first. I mean look at being an arms dealer. I mean we came second. It's not good enough yeah. I'm gonna have to get my flag out for this one because we have finally come first guys. Yeah that's right we have come first. But in what I hear you ask? Guys number one, number one on the planet when it comes to avoidance of corporation tax worldwide. Worldwide baby, worldwide. But that's not all guys yeah. There was another category as well when it came to tax avoidance. This is to do with not disclosing yeah, secrecy when it comes to disclosing of tax. Now obviously this is due to illegal activities and that if you add up the British territories again number one baby yeah. Hope you guys learned something, you probably didn't I don't blame you. Until next time guys, Psh, Assalamu alaikum.